hi so in this video we will create an a jarvis project so it's not like a real jarvis that will talk to you it's like a texting version of that jarvis so we will create a jarvis in eclipse id so we will use eclipse id so simply open your id and create a project so go to file click on new click on java project as simple as that and if you know don't know what is java and how we can create it so go and check my previous video so here we will write the name and hit finish so here our project is created jarvis so go to source folder right click on it go to new click on class and then name the class main and after that hit the public static void main method so in this video we will only use two methods means only if and else statement to make an an ai yeah so first of all we will show a message on the screen to the user so here we will write system dot or dot print and shortcut key is this out control space so here we will write hi i am jarvis created by sir ayaz khan that's me yeah then ended with a semicolon so tell me your name so tell me about you yeah and after that in the next line we will write sys out control space shortcut key for system dot out dot print ln so in the double column we will write means your name that we are asking something from the user and ai was asking from the user yeah so and a question mark now we will get the input from the user for for getting an input from an user we will need an scanner object so we will write a scanner and name that scanner object sc equal to new scanner bracket in the bracket system dot in system dot in means in the input form ended with semicolon and then import the scanner object yeah so now we will import it yes so here we can see written import java dot util dot scanner in the upside now we will create an string so string namer equal to sc dot next line ended with semicolon so we created an string object name that object name is namer equal to sc dot next line means what means the input we will get will be stored in the namer object yes so now we will write if namer dot length is greater than 7 then we will then we will appear a message to the user yeah sys out control space shortcut key for system dot or dot print ln yeah and here we will write your name is kinda long isn't it so if you haven't watched my previous video of java so you can check that check my playlist java basic and i have created many project i have created and calculator simple calculator for beginners so you can check that too yeah so now here we will write also plus namer after that double column why plus namer it will the namer will be the name of the uh, user that he will enter so we will if we write plus name or so it will show appear appear as like your name is kinda long isn't it plus dash the name of that user so now else we will write else curly bracket and in the curly bracket we will write sys out control space so what's your last name sir so sir we will we are writing because we are creating an servant and assistant for us so now we will write plus name or so the name of the user will write it there now run it and see it how it's work so here we can see hi i am jarvis created by sarayas khan so tell me 
about yourself what's your name let's say nemat so what's your name so what's your last name sir nemat so we can't do anything else so just write some more lines of codes and become its become an become the jarvis more useful so here we will create one more scanner object scanner sc2 equal to new scanner we don't need to import anything now because we have already imported any scanner object for our program so here in the bracket we will write system dot in means input if you haven't know what is scanner i have already make a video on scanner object so you can check that link in the link in the link will be in the description so you can check that so here we will write string namer two equal to sc two dot next line ended with semicolon so now we we can get the last name of the user so now we will write if bracket wait a second and in the bracket we will write name are to dot equal an object we will erase that and here whatever we want we can write so we will write khan why we are writing khan let's just see it so and uh, after that curly pair of curly bracket and then we will uh, send a, a pair a message to the user so here yeah we have to write that in the double column so here we will write system mode dot println and in the double columns we will write oh khan i am a fan of srk ha 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 isn't it funny now we will yeah that's it and then plus namer not namer plus what's your we are remove one plus sign only what's your age then plus sign and then namer else we will write else here else if namer to dot equal nothing and then or it is a sign of or then namer to dot equal nothing in small letters then the sign of or you can just check that i can't i'm not i'm forgetting that name of the that sign so namer dot equal to i have no last name so if the user will write these then we will show a message to the user a pair of curly bracket and the pair of curly bracket we will give the message to the user sys out control space shortcut key i am remembering you the all the shortcuts key that i used in this video so remember that so here we will write sorry sir then plus sign and then namer so it will look nice
and then we will ask a question to the user what's your age then run it and check it whenever you write code after writing some lines of code just run it so it will give you a clear vision if your code is right or wrong so here we write it sam what's your name then what's your last name let it khan oh khan i am fan of srk ha 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 what's your age so now we can didn't we haven't make another scanner for the age object so we have to make that to run it one more time so it's working we can see if we type nothing what it will show oh it shows nothing why wait i'll check oh we haven't uh, give a message so we also have to give a message for that too nice name plus sign namer means the nine's name and whatever the user will input his or her name that will appear so what's your name let it be namath what's your last name sheik so that's my brother name cousin brother so now nice name namath yeah so it's working pretty cool our jarvis our ai it's not kind of ai Uh, for beginners it's kind of ai so i have only created this video for beginners so you can check it and make your coding more powerful yeah so now here we will write so tell me you your age so tell me your age yeah so here also we write it that if the user have another surname except khan then we will show this message nice name so tell me your age then we will create a scanner object another scanner object is scanner sc3 equal to new scanner system dot in and ended with a semicolon and after that we will create an int variable int age equal to sc3 dot next int means we will get the input in an integer form so what is variable you can check a video of mine i have already make a video on variables so yeah so now here we will write if age is greater or equal to 18 then we will show this message to the user sys out control space so here we will write what we will write yeah we will write you are an adult yeah because 18 after 18 or 18 a boy is an adult you are an adult now plus namer so namer whatever the user inputted that name will be stored in the namer object and here we are showing that so else if age is smaller than 18 right the smaller than 18 here i mistaken sorry then curve a pair of curly bracket and the pair player pair, pair of curly bracket we will show this masses you are a kid now ha 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 so our ai is laughing yeah plus
just go no we we shouldn't write this just erase it it's looking nice so now we will write one more thing let's run it first of all so what's your name it's sam if you're anything else saman so what's your last name let it be anything nothing sorry sir what's your age let it be what you are an adult now aman it's showing so here we will give an space so it's it will look more clean our code will look clean and the message message will also look clean so here we will write system dot out dot print ln and in the bracket we will show a message so we will show so in the double column and then plus namer then plus sign then we will write are you a boy or a girl so namer you already know what so we will run it and check it first of all we will create an scanner object A scanner sc4 equal to new scanner system dot in ended with semicolon and then string namer three equal to sc dot next line and it with semicolon and then we will write if else statement if namer dot equal here there are is coming by yeah eq oh we have write it here namer 4 and it's 3 so we have to it is it and we have to write namer 3 dot equal uh, double columns boy or sign and we will write namer 3 dot equal double column man so what we are doing here so if the user will input boy man or male so we will show an a message to the user so here we will write or sign or namer 3 dot equals double column and then mail now we will show an message to the user sys out control space shortcut key for system dot 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 print ln so o oh, we will write o oh, macho means macho man like yeah
so now here we will write else if user dot equal sorry namer dot namer three dot equal girl girl woman female so as we do for the male thing we will do the same for the female thing too so if you haven't know what is if else statement and scanner object so you can check that in my previous video i will give the link of that video too in my description box so go and check that video so you will understand more this so it is a nice um, project for a beginner to learn programming in java so here we will write yeah girl power So now we will write system dot out dot print ln, and here we will write so plus namer. So namer will what the name of the user that he enters. So we will write do you come here for the secret thing? it's kind of um, hacking like thing but it's not so it's a simple ai so it will talk you in a text form so it's kind of ai for beginners and it's pretty cool in the last we will see it's it's look very cool so first of all we will create one more scanner object scanner is c5 equal new scanner system dot in in the bracket and end it with a semicolon and we will create an string here a string namer four equal to sc five dot next line ended with semicolon so if you miss any semicolon or a bracket uh, the eclipse id will simply show you error so now we will write if and in the bracket we will write namer four dot equals yes in small form or namer four dot equals yes and by in capital form or or not and we will show a message to the user like this tell me the password or passcode tell me a passcode yeah now here we will write else if the user enter no then what will happen then this message will appear okay then by plus namer the name of the user and then plus sign and then a pair of double columns and we will write a message okay then by the name of the user and jarvis closing dot 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 yeah it's kind of cool so if you haven't created any ai so it's your first ai
and i have created many more, much more things so just run it and check it what's your name i write it so what's your last name let it be khan oh i am fan of srk 18 age are you boy okay macho man so secret thing yes so if we write yes tell me the passcode but if we write no what will happen let's run it one more time what's your name we have writeed here what's your last name let it be khan one more time what's your age 18 boy so you can see the ai is talking with you he they he is asking question with you so no okay then bye yaza jarvis closing yaza the name that we enters so now we will write one more thing that will look more cool that will make our project more cool and more So here we will create an scanner object, and it will enhance your project. Just see what I do. Scanner SSH equal to new scanner system dot in, and the error is gone, and it will semicolon. Int pass equal to. So we are creating an variable in integer form name password equal to SSH dot next int. So whatever the user in will input in the password that will be stored in the past variable past variable so here we will write pass equal equal 707641 so it is the password that i created so if the user input the right password then this message will appear sys out control space so here we will write congo right password sir you might be friend of my master ayaz <laughs> that's pretty cool isn't it so if you like my video hit the like button press the bell icon subscribe the channel share with your friends and comment down below So here we write it what the name and then you might be friend of my master. So let's complete our project. Else, if the user enters the wrong password, then what will happen? Then this will happen to the user. So we are using while loop. If you don't know while loop. you can check my playlist there's while loop is also explained so here we will write in the while loop while true and in the curly bracket we will write wrong password error wrong password error dot 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 so just now run it our project is almost completed so let's see the code and just run it and see what we have created now so it's looking pretty nice hi i'm jarvis created by sarayas khan what's your name he is asking our name yeah pretty cool so it's nameat sheikh then what's your tell me your age nice name nemat sir tell me your age wah wow. yeah, we and we have created an ai for us our first ai simple ai but it's our first ai so we entered our age we are boy no yes if we enter the wrong password this will happen it's looking pretty cool isn't it it's a kind of danger message to the user if he enters the wrong password but if we enter the right password what will happen let's see
what's your age 18 yeah, 19 whatever boy then if we yes and if we write the right password 76 then it will show a message congo write password sir yeah so this is our project and if you like my video like the video share with your friends subscribe the channel yeah and also check my playlist of previous video and i have also created many projects four projects so you can check that too and just like my video support me it's my new channel and that's yeah thank you for watching this video और यहाँ तक देखा तो भाई लाइक वाइक कर दो भाई का चैनल है बस थैंक यू